Welcome one more time to the class students. I'm really happy to see you here today. We have something new. I'm going to start showing you your class and presentation tool. So everyone, everybody, please open your books. Open your books because I have something for you. This is um, your, your classroom presentation tool. Yeah, right. This is for you. And let's start. I'm going to show you here. What unit are we working on? Let's see. I'm going to check my notes. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're, we're working on the unit number six, right? We're working on the unit number six. And this is the unit number six. The animal behavior, right? Uh, well, we're doing some things. We're learning about uh, the grammar part, for example, about the use of uh, questions no yes no question no wa question with gerunds right then we have seen or we have read about this uh, um, crazy elephant no uh, the previous class we did the video part and now it's time to talk about this talking about preferences right what do we have here students here it says the use of so and neither. When do you use so and when do you use neither? When utilizamos so y cuando utilizamos neither. Okay, uh, well, if we have to summarize and resume, so and neither es como decir también o tampoco. So and neither. For example, you say, I go to the park on weekends. Yo voy al park, voy al parque on weekends. Yo no, también, no, dice so do I. Okay, what else? For example, here it says, no, I don't like tomatoes. No me gustan los tomatoes. Si quisiera decir, yo tampoco, what do I say? Neither do I. Yo tampoco. ¿Ve? So do I, yo también. Neither do I, yo tampoco. Si te das cuenta, el so do I utilizo para responder algunas oraciones que son afirmativas, ¿verdad? Mientras que el neither do I lo utilizo para responder algunas oraciones que son negativas. Ok, ya. Yeah. So, let's go now. You have to listen to the chart and we have to, uh, we have to work. We have to complete the chart, ya. Yeah? We have the conversation between Tom, Eve, uh, and according to this, we have to write here. What is Tom and Eve like? For example, here says that if uh, doesn't like uh, crocodiles. What about Tom? Mm -hmm. Does Tom like or no? You have to uh, draw the happy face or the sad face. Yeah. So let's just start now. Pay attention. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. So pay attention. I'm gonna stop the backing truck music and let's just start. We have a snake in our classroom at school. Do you like snakes? No. I don't. They're scary. Our snake isn't. She's very small. What animals do you like? Hmm, bats. We sometimes see them in our yard. I love bats. So do I. They're smart. But a lot of people don't like bats. It's the same with crocodiles. Ooh, no. I don't like crocodiles. Neither do I. I don't like any big animals like that. And small animals? What about insects? Do you like ants? Yes, I like looking at ants. So do I. They're amazing. Okay, now uh, you tell me, please, the students, about uh, if, no, uh, about the snakes. For example, if says that uh, if doesn't like snakes. Uh, what about Tom? Does Tom like snakes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to activate the microphone. This is going to be open microphone. Please, and tell me the answer. What do you think? I know. Okay. Tom doesn't like snakes.
What do you think? Tom asks, no, uh, do you like snakes? Because Tom says that uh, we have snake in our class, no? If says, no, I don't. Do you like snakes? If says, no, I don't. What happens with Tom? Tom says, our snake isn't scary. She's very small. What do you think? Tom likes a snake, yes or no? What do you think, student? I know. No, Tom doesn't like. You have yes. to. If says yes. no, right? But Tom, yeah. Tom likes snakes. Yeah, so let's check it here. Now, let's see. The next part says, uh, if asked, no. Mm, but sometimes uh, we sometimes see them in our jar. I love bats. What about bats? Who likes bats, if or Tom? Hmm? Does if like bats? Yes, he no. does or no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Yeah, right. He likes bats. So if bats, yes. No? And what about Tom? Does Tom like bats? Yes or no? No. I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? Yes. Because here it says so do I. Yes, o sea, a mí también, ¿no? So do I. So let's write here, bats check. Yeah? Mm. What about a crocodiles? Does Tom like crocodiles? Yes or no? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't? Yes. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All oh, right, because Tom here says, I don't like crocodiles. So let's go to Tom and crocodiles. Tom, uh-uh. And what about if? Does if like crocodiles? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes no. No. Yes and no. Yes. No. Here it says, I don't like crocodiles. What about if? If says? Neither do I. Do I? Yeah, neither. Yes. Yeah, tampoco, right? So, what's the answer here about crocodile? If no, he doesn't like crocodiles. Yeah. Uh, what about ants? Does if like ants? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, right. Here you have the question. Do you like ants? And what is uh, Eve's answer? She said, yes, I like ants. Yes, I like, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. And what about Tom? Does Tom like uh, ants? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, yes, he does. He does teacher. Very good, no? Uh, I like looking at ants and so do I. They are amazing. Okay, now we have done this activity. Yeah, let's, let's check this, no? Tom says, so do I, a mí también, o yo también, no? Okay, let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next activity. Yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, that's it. What do we have here? Uh, there it says, no? Say so do I or neither do I. So I'm gonna ask here, I'm gonna say some sentences. For example, I don't go to the movies often. What can you tell me? So do I or neither do I?
Mm -hmm. Do you know the answer? What is the answer, student? Hmm? I don't go move. I don't go to the movies. No. See, if this is negative, you can say, "Neither do I." No. I have a pet fish. So do I. I live in a big town. So do I. I never uh, have pancakes. Neither do I. I don't ride my bike to school. Uh, neither do I. No. I eat pizza once a week. So do I, no recuerdas, quiero decir yo también o a mí también, so do I. Pero si quiero decir yo tampoco o a mí tampoco, I use neither do I. Yeah, don't forget. Now let's see, uh, do services, uh, three things, say, no, for example, here we have hobbies, food and drinks, jobs around the houses, no? You can say, I like playing with teddy bears, I like playing soccer. I like drinking lemonade. Uh, I like mm, mm, doing jobs around the house. No, and you can answer, so do I or neither do I, yeah? Now let's go to the next part here. We have this, that is a reading. This is the school trip number two, okay? What do we have here in the school trip number two? Here it says, no? The Antarctic food chain. Oh, there is a chain. No? Here it says, uh, Atoll penguins jumping into the ocean. Atoll and emperor penguins live in Australia. Oh, sorry, Antarctica. Look, no? Oh my God. This penguin is jumping into the water, right? <whistles> and the other is going to go. <whistles> right okay they're gonna jump into the water now let's see we have to uh, listen and we have to read moment please the antarctic food chain the quiz i about the swing okay but we have to i'm gonna play this yeah here it says, uh, read about the change, complete the sentences. The energy, okay, let's start with the reading part. I'm gonna do here this. The Antarctic food chain, what is the chain? Cadena, no? Cadena. If you talk about food chain, cadena alimenticia, right? How is the, the Antarctic food chain? Today we are going to the Antarctica to learn about food chain. All animals eat to get energy, but where does energy come from? ¿De dónde viene la energy para los animals? No, first, plants get energy from the sun. No, ¿de dónde obtiene the energy las plants? From the sun. No, this is the nature, la naturaleza. Animals, uh, uh, animals, then I eat a. Uh, eat the plants and many animals eat other animals. Oh, yeah, no? What's the other? Animals eat, uh, eat plants, no? Los animals se alimentan de las plants. Then many animals eat other animals, no? For example, si es un small animal, viene un animal que es bigger and it eats the small animal, no? Oh my God, poor animals, they're gonna be eating. Yeah, what else? Um, many animals eat other animals. This is a food chain, right? Don't be sad, no se pongan tristes que esto es the food chain, okay? Here it says, emperor penguins live in Antarctica. Okay, these emperor penguins live in, in Antarctica. These, yeah, these are the emperor. And then 
they say. November penguins live in Antarctica. What do they eat? Let's watch to learn where penguins come in the, the Antarctic food chain. Okay, now let's see. According to the reading, tell me, the energy in food comes from? What do you think? Plants. Okay, the plants and what else? Here it says. Food chain. Mm -mm. Water animals. Your clothes. Head energy. Okay, but get the energy from what? They don't obtain energy, for example, the plants. Hmm? What do you think? Here says students, uh, not first, plants get energy from the sun. Animal eat the plants and many animals eat other animals. Now the energy comes from, they don't know the, the energy, from the sun, from the plants, no? And animals, yeah. This is how you get energy, or this is how the animal gets energy, yeah? The way that energy moves through the plants and animals is a... What do you think? ¿Cómo se conoce? Esa manera en la cual the energy va obteniendo energy cada animal. Hmm? Head energy? Not food energy. It has a name. It's something related with food. Claro que sí, está relacionado con food. Pain? What? Food chain. Food change, right? Very good. That's the answer. The food change is how energy go from the plants to the animals and to the animals to animals. Yeah? Food chain. Next, what else do we have here? Emperor penguins live in, where do they live? Antarctica. Antarctica. Oh, Antarctica, right? Antarctica. Yes. In mother, I'm mistook. Living Antarctic. No? Antarctic. Antarctica. Now, we have here the activity too that says, uh, watch the video, put the food, oh, sorry, put the food chain in order. No, for example, what is first the energy from the sun? This is number one. Then what is next? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Put in order here. So pay attention. I'm going to play the video. Penguins live in very cold waters in the Antarctic Ocean. They eat fish, and there are a lot of fish. 
What are these penguins doing? They're looking for food. They're swimming and catching fish. But what do the fish eat? They eat smaller fish and small animals called krill. Krill live in every ocean, and that includes the cold waters of the Antarctic Ocean. They're very small animals, but there are lots and lots of them. They eat very small plants that live in the ocean, and the plants get their energy from the sun. But there are animals that eat penguins too. Here comes a leopard seal. The leopard seal is one of the only animals that eat penguins. What are the penguins doing? They're jumping out of the water. They don't want the leopard seal to catch them and eat them. Wow, they're very fast. Okay. Wow. Great, no? Excellent. Have you ever seen the penguins? They are very fast, the penguins. In the ocean, they swim very fast and they jump from the ocean, out of the ocean to, right? They are amazing. They are amazing. I really like that. Okay. Uh, now we have to uh, put here the the chain, the order. We have to chain uh, the the food. We have to put the food chain in order. Okay. Uh, what's first? Energy, no, from the sun. What's next? Plant. Very yeah, good. No. Plants in the ocean, letter F, very good. What's next? Krill. Krill, very good. Krill, what's next? Fish. Excellent. The fish eat krill. What's next? Leopard. Penguin. Oh, penguin, right? The emperor penguin, you know? Letter A. And finally, who's the predator? Leopard seal. Leopard seal. Leopard seal, right? That's interesting. In the video, it said that the leopard seal is the único animal that eat penguins. The único que le gusta comer penguins. That's why, you know, the penguins woo, swim very fast and no, they ran away from the leopard seal. Okay. I think you finished, right? Finish. Great, excellent. I think it was enough time, right? Let's go to the next part, yeah? I'm gonna erase this. We're not gonna do this part. We're not gonna do this part, yeah? Because you have another project. So you have another project. So now let's go to this part. This is the last part. This is the review part. What are you gonna do here? You have review number three, units five and six. Let's work. What do they say here? Okay. Now uh, we have to complete this part with the options. Ants, bats, kangaroos, ketchup, milkshake, pasta, penguin, sandwich, soup, vegetables. Here it says carrot, peas, and potatoes are, what do you think? Are ants, bats, kangaroos, ketchup, a pasta, soup, vegetables? Pasta. Vegetables? Yeah, vegetables, right? It says carrots, peas, potatoes. 
Yeah, I think they are vegetables too. Uh, what about uh, number two? People in Italy eat a lot of spaghetti. It's my favorite. What do you think? Vegetables. Vegetables. One more time. Number two. Pasta. Pasta. Yeah, pasta. right. So La Padula eats pasta, right? Okay, that's great. Spaghetti is a kind of pasta. It's my favorite. I always put on my burger. Ketchup. Ah, great, right, the ketchup. No, a ketchup and sometimes I, 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 I eat mayonnaise. I use mayonnaise and I like a chili too. Okay. Are slices of bread with cheese or meat between them? Milkshake. Milkshake bread with so, cheese. So, meat. So, it says, so, no? Soup. It says slices. Huh? One slice. Sandwich. sandwich. Oh, yeah. Sandwich. No? Sandwich. Cheese yeah. or meat between. O sea, tiene cheese o tiene meat. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde está el cheese o el meat? Between. Between those slices of bread. No? Okay. Here we have yes. sandwiches. Okay, that's it. Sandwiches. Está aprendiendo Valerie, no? My God, le vamos a tomar examen a Valerie luego. Okay, number five. Yes, yes. Pay attention, Valerie. Okay. Yeah, let's continue. The next part. Are usually a strawberry or chocolate? What's that? Milkshake. 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 Okay. Milkshake. Yeah. Now, uh, you often eat with bread. Hands. Hands. No. Hands. Hands? My God. Hands. So. Hands. So. It is with mm -hmm. bread. You often eat. But. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Vegetables. Vegetables. With bread. Soup. Mm -hmm. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten. Okay, we're going to skip this. We're going to write at the end, yeah? Can fly, but they aren't birds or insects. Number uh, seven. Ants. Bats. Ants. 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 Ants fly. Bats. 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 Yes, no bats. Do you remember Batman? Bats. Now, number eight, you can see kangaroo. I know. Okay, kangaroo. Uh, number nine, are very small, but they can do amazing things. So what do you think? And. And. Right? And. And. Oh, sorry. Ants. No, uh, can swim very fast. Penguins. 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 Right? Penguins. Okay. Yeah, we just have here one option. Tenemos aquí solamente el soup. Let me see. Soup with bread. No, I. But does it have sense? Do you have sense? Soup with bread. O sea, sopa con la con pan. No creo, no. You often eat with bread. 
Pasta. Can fruit, butter, or birch. Pasta. Or, or insects. No. What do you so, eat with, with bread? You, you know bread, right? ¿Qué cosa es bread? Pan. What do you eat with bread? And. Professor, ¿qué significa bread? Bread is pan. You often, you often eat with bread. Vegetables? Vegetables con los bread. Mm. Oh. Sandwich? Um. Sandwich. No, los sorry. sandwich es todo. El bread más el relleno. Burger. Uh, but we don't have burger here, no? Huh? Hmm. Let's see. Let's check the answers, yeah? Okay, let's do this. Ta -da -da -dum. Oh, let's go. Pero si se dan cuenta, I don't find the sense here. No le encuentro el sentido aquí. You often eat soup so? with bread. O sea, sopa con pan. Muy raro. No, that's really strange. Debería ser negative. Debería ser, esta oración debería ser negative. negative ¿no? You don't often eat soup with bread. Ya, debería ser negativo, ¿no? Entonces, si dices you don't often, es como decir... Tú casi it's nunca, rare, it's rare. Claro, ¿no? Tú casi nunca tomas sopa con eh, pan, ¿no? Ahí sí tendría más sentido, ¿ya? Ok, sometimes there are some mistakes, ¿no? A veces hay algún mistake por ahí, como en este caso. ¿Ya? Well, vamos, next part. Here it says, eh, activity to listen, circle, and the best answer to the question. ¿Cuál será la mejor respuesta para las preguntas? Yes, here are, oh, sorry, yes, here they are, no, sorry, you don't have any, pay attention. Yeah, let's do one by one. One, can I have a glass of milk, please? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Can I have a glass of milk? How do you answer? A glass of milk. They are, they are a mocking on green. Okay, pero si te dice a glass of milk, te está hablando en singular, a glass. Y mira la respuesta que dice aquí. Yes, here they are. No, impossible, ¿no? No, sorry, we don't have any. Esto tiene más sentido, ¿verdad? Can I have a glass of milk? ¿O me, me, ¿Me puedes dar un vaso con leche? No, we don't have any, no tenemos. Ok, number two, continue. Two, are there any pets in your house? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Are there, any, uh, are there any pets in your house? Do you remember what are pets? We have a cat. Oh, very good. We have a cat. Now, what is a pet? ¿Qué es una pet? Mascota. No, do you have any pets? Blank. Are there any pets at house? Next. Three, can we have two bottles of juice, please? Mm -hmm. yes, What's the answer? This is a conversation. Yes, Do you have a bottles of juice, please? ¿Y qué te responderá? Está hablando en, en plural, bottles of milk. Do you want of orange? Juice. Oh, oh, claro. Como preguntas, ¿tienes este do, dos este botellas de jugo? No, ya. Yeah. Do you want orange or apple? ¿Quieres de orange o de apple? No. It has more sense. Four. Are there any oranges on the table? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Are there any oranges on the table? Yes, there are a lot. Oh, very good. No, this is in, in plural. Has no sense. Yes, there are. Next, number five. Five. Can I have a small bowl of soup, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are many bowls. 
Okay, but this is singular or plural? Listen, listen the question, huh? Small bowl of soup, please. Mm -hmm. Five. Plural. Can I have Can a I small have bowl of soup, please? Mm -hmm. No, we don't have. Yes, I do. Yeah, no, we don't have any today. No, no one. Yes, porque no es en singular. Don't. Mira, la respuesta yeah. arriba es en uh, plural. Uh, we Recuerda que so. si te pregunta en singular, tienes que responder en singular. ¿Ya? Por eso, can I have a small bowl of soup, no? ¿Me puedes dar un, un plato, un tazón pequeño de sopa? A bowl. ¿no? Entonces, tu respuesta tiene que ser en singular. ¿Ya? Number six, pay attention. Six. Is there any pizza? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, but only on a sweet. Oh, right? yes, but only one slice. No, recuerda que yes, Correct. I do. Yes, I do es para decir sí, yo, ¿no? Pero te está preguntando, eh, do you have any slice? No, o sea, hay algo de pizza, ¿no? Yes, but Correct. only one slice. Claro, yes. sí, pero solo un pedazo, yes. ¿no? Una rebanada. Number three, Obvious. complete the sentences. We have to complete here. The girl is eating a... What is the girl eating? What's it's this? A Watermelon. Yeah, but what's this? A bottle? Um, a glass? A slice? What's that? A slice? A slice, right? A slice, una rebanada, un trozo, right? A slice of watermelon. Yeah. Next, the woman is drinking a of orange juice. What do you think? Apple. Apple of orange juice. Orange. Mm -hmm. What's the a answer? Glass? A glass. A glass. Yes, this is a glass. This drink, drink a soda. A glass. A glass. Drink. A glass of orange juice. Un vaso de orange juice, right? Yeah, Next. Uh, orange. Uh, answer the question. Who is the boy looking at? Who is the boy looking at? Hmm? A slice of watermelon? No, it says looking. Look. What is the boy looking at? ¿Qué está mirando el boy? What is the boy looking at? Father. Okay, it could be, no? He's looking. He's looking at his dad. Podría ser. O también podría ser he's looking the ocean también. Right? Podría ser. Is he is looking and what air count? count. The ocean could be too, right? Yeah. Number four. We can see a man's hand. What is he doing? Oh, yeah. Can you see here? This is a hand, right? What is he doing? Brocheta. Okay, but what is he doing? He's eating, he's cooking, he's playing. What is he doing? He eating. Cooking. Yes, he's cooking, right? The man is cooking. He is or he's cooking. That's the answer. Okay, that's it on that way. Is cooking chop? Yeah. Yes, no? That's right. He's cooking some chops. Finish. Great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
Teacher, time o'clock. Yes, the time is over. And now I think we finished the student's book, right? You don't have this. Yeah, this is the last part of the student's book. We're going to continue the next class, students. I just want to say thank you very much. That's all for today. See you. Bye-bye, students. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, Bye, -bye, Bye professor. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye teacher. Bye, 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 teacher.